Okay, today I will show you about my project for programmable logic controller and industrial networking. Uh, my project title is Tablet Capsule Counting and Filling with the second insertion and reject station. Okay, first of all, uh, this is example of my PLC diagram as we divided into the different section. Before we connect it to the SCADA, we must open the virtual PLC which is a CS simulator and then we open the virtual port terminal uh, in this case we use the virtual serial port emulator as you can see here this is the pre setup uh, between COM2 and COM3 which is uh, the pair connection for the CS simulator we use COM2 and for the SCADA we will use the COM3 as the communication ok so on the word CS simulator we choose the virtual communication which is ETN unit and then we just click connect after that the status on the VSPE will change into the OK after that we can minimize it and on the CS simulator we can work online after it, now uh, just change it to the from program mode into the monitor mode then you can monitor it online after that you open the SCADA to graphic builder click file open the project which is mini, our mini project minimize it as you can see here, this is my HMI SCADA and then just click run and click the mini project test as you can see here, the, the, from the SCADA HMI there are the red, red LD on filling and counting and the second post insert will be on same as the red LED on CS programmer which is on the pre-feeder the LED is on and post disk inserter which is uh, the red LED is on this is uh, our input monitor which is we use to monitoring the all the switch and sensors if it will work or not so for the simulation here first of all uh, the box on the pre-feeder will contact with the lower limit switch as you can see here in the CS programmer the input in 0.13 address will be on this means it's the box the pre-feeder container contact with the lower limit switch and then after the condition is meet we press the forward push button here to make the container move forward as you can see here the CS programmer the LED for the output for the 1.11 address will be on and the container forward on the SCADA will be on and then after that the lower limit switch will not contact it instead the upper limit switch is hit when the upper limit switch is hit the motor will be stopped stop moving and then the uh, all the con all the LED indicator on the SCADA will be off after that after wait for the 3 seconds on the CS programmer you press the reverse button and the container will move reverse which means it will go down and contact back to the lower limit switch after it contact the limit switch the operation for the motor on pre-feeder will be stopped after the pre-feeder process is finished we go into the filling and counting process and then uh, for the loading station sensor it will be de detected after the tablet and capsule fill into the silo after that you can see here from the pre-feeder the orange LED will be blinking for one second 
and then proceed into the filling and counting Okay, after the loading station sensor is detect detect the tablet and capsule the gate, the vibrator all the vibrator 1, 2, 3 and the vacuum which is inside the silo will be turned on as you can see here on the CS programmer all the gate and vibration vacuum and conveyor also is turning on after that if the bottle sensor detect the bottles this operation is here when the bottle sensor detect the bottle for the first first detection will turn on the stopper motor 1 and the second detection will be turned on the stopper motor 2 and then the bottle will be stuck here and wait for the insertion of the tablet and capsule after that the counting process will be done here as you can see here there will be a counting meter in the capsule filling and counting so uh, in this station there will be a sensor tablet which will detect the capsule as you can see here for the counting operation we use the CNT box so first detection will be turned on After the counter hit the value of 5, the tablet on the SCADA interface will be turned green. Indicate the ND5, and this is 4, 2 tablet left, there's be one more, and then after the tablet counter number will be 0, the count will be on and it will wait until reach the lower position after that we have this code encoder to determine the lowest position of the code after it detected the flag will be on, the code will be raised again and then the stopper 1 and the stopper 2 will be retract and the, motor will, the bottle will go through ok after the station 2 filling and counting is done we proceed into the our next station which is station 3 the second push install so the red LED will be on indicate that the system is not ready as you can see here in the CS programmer the red, red LED on address 3.00 is turned on indicate that the system is not ready yet until we start we press the start button on the station 3 and the Roland the second sensor will detect the the second porch in this roller. After that, the motor feeder will be ready and the system will blinking the orange LED indicate that the system is ready. As you can see here, in our CS programmer, the orange LED will blinking for one second. Then the motor feeder will be run. After that, in this tube, we have the sensor that will detect the uncut desiccant. If we detect the uncut desiccant, the cutter will be on and the desiccant feeder will the desiccant feeder will be retract and stop the desiccant pouch from falling down. Not until our bottle sensor detect the bottle. For the first detection, it will detect the bottle one and the stopper 1 on the station 3 will be on as you can see here on the sales programmer and then for the second detection it will be it will be extend the stopper motor 2 and then the motor will be stuck here and wait for the and the desiccant feeder will be retract and the desiccant uncut will be inserted into the bottle after that the uncut desiccant sensor will not detect the posh and we will undetected and we retract the stopper 1 and stopper 2 and shut down the cutter after that the bottle will be passed through as you can see here on CS programmer the system will be reset and wait for the next process ok now we move into our 
reject station ok for the reject station here so in this reject station we have the bottle sensor to detect the bottle and then we have to stop a motor and lock cell to measure the weight of the bottle and we have the weight scale here to monitor the weight of the bottles so the value of the rejection will be below 40 gram and above 50 gram as you can see here on our CS programmer if the load set is not detected it will, it will reset the D5 value into the zero so as you can see here the weight scale will be reset into the zero so if the bottle one detected so the bottle one uh, the bottle will will be on the lock cell and the lock cell will be turned on after the two condition is true so the stopper one on the reject station will turn on and stop the bottle as you can see here on the CS programmer so for the next detection it will turn on the stepper motor too it will turn on the board stopper motor and then it will measure the value the value is 48 and it will not turn on the rejector because the value of the weight is accepted and then the motor will continue and go on into the packaging box after that the lock cell will not detect it and it will reset the weight scale into the zero back ok next we try to reject the bottle so we set here below 40 gram and then we continue the same process which is sensor bottle detect and then the bottle will be on the lock cell and lock cell will detect stopper 1 will be on as you can see here stopper 1 will be on and then for the next detection the stopper water 2 will be turned on and we will take the time to the reject station to on about 6 seconds and then after the lock, after it rejected, the bottle on the lock cell will not detected. After the uh, the lock cell did not detected, so it will retract the stopper motor one and continue to measure the next bottle. After the certain amount of bottle inside the packaging box, and then after we click the delivery button, it will be delivered the our product into the shop. So in here we have this stop button. These are for all the station, which is we have the stop button for filling accounting, station three, which is the second processor, and for the emergency stop for the whole system. So I will demo demonstration the they will demo the how the but the stop button works. So if we press the start, the red LED status will be turned on is the indicate that the system is not ready and as you can see here stop button for filling and counting also indicate that the system is not ready if we unpress it it will be back into the ready and then if we st if press the and then we press the emergency stop button for the whole system all the system will indicate the, that the system is not ready also the conveyor will be stopped 